Hello, Winabbers. My name is Jesse Meekum from Winab. It stands for You Need a Budget. Yes, you do. This is another Whiteboard Wednesday today. <clears throat> Excuse me, should have cleared my, for my throat before I started. <clears throat> today, I want to talk about just a quick review on how we handle credit cards in Winab, specifically how to get it set up, and then how you handle interest, because a lot of people ask that question, and hopefully this video will explain it uh, to your satisfaction. Quick review for all of you. Uh, in accounting, and it was invented a long time ago, I think in the 15th century, uh, by an Italian man, can't remember his name, but he came up with the idea that if you kept all of your books balanced all the time, you would recognize that your assets must always equal your debt uh, less your equity, and or debt plus equity, excuse me. Um, in our instance, I'm just modifying the accounting equation a little bit or showing kind of a subset of equity, which is your assets would equal your debt plus any income minus any expenses. So if we were to start this out and say, I have $100, you'd say, okay, well, where'd you get that $100? It was income. Okay, cool. $100 in assets because an asset cash is an asset. $100 in income and it stays balanced. If you were to spend some of that income, like 50 bucks of it, your assets would go down by $50. And $50 of expenses would mean that you now had just $50, right? So you have kind of a little profit and loss statement over here. Now, if you borrowed money though, if you borrowed 50 bucks to buy something new, your debt would increase by the $50, but you spent it immediately. You know, you bought uh, some avocados and they were really expensive. So your debt went up by 50 bucks and your expense, you know, that obviously just sucked right out of there. So that stays in balance. Expenses would be a minus. So debt goes up, expense is obviously a minus, so it's going down, and you're back to square one. Assets didn't change at all. Now, if you think about that for a moment, that's exactly what happens with credit cards. When you swipe a credit card, you've incurred the debt, but you've immediately spent the money. So your assets didn't go up or down. They didn't do anything. It didn't touch them. You never actually saw the money. If you did, it was just for a fleeting moment as it passed through the credit card transaction processor. So now YNAB handles this in a way that keeps things all in balance for you. So when you add a credit card to YNAB, you just set up your account and YNAB will automatically recognize and say, oh, this is a credit card. Okay, we know how to handle these. So when you have that situation where you spend 50 bucks, we will, not, we will make sure that we don't have you accidentally spend that 50 bucks again. Because in YNAB, you budget cash. Cash is king. Cash matters more than everything. So in the instance where we're just talking about cash and you spend 50 bucks on groceries, we want to show that that cash is now spoken for, but we also know that the cash isn't gone. Your checking account still has the 50 bucks in it. What's happened is your grocery category shows $50 went out. Don't spend any more on groceries because the 50 bucks is already out. But what we've done is instead of sucking it out completely and showing that cash is gone because that wouldn't be the case, on the asset side, where you have your grocery category, we just shift it from the grocery category over to your credit card payment category. We're just doing a little bit of sleight of hand with some money. What happens again is just, oh, that was in the envelope for groceries, now we're just gonna put it in the envelope for the credit card payment. It all just happened over here. We record the transaction over here because you got debt, transaction went out, so that side stayed equal. And of course, moving $50 from one asset to another asset leaves this side equal. Now, some of you are gonna be asking, okay, I get that, I get that, I see it all, but also my credit card company, and this is lame, but they charge interest. And when that interest hits, how do I handle that? And the nice thing, to, the nice way to think about interest, because it might make you mad and motivate you to pay off your debt faster, is when you're paying interest, you're just kind of saying, hey, uh, I need more time to pay off my debt. You're basically paying for extra time to pay off the debt, right? Do you need to? That's up for up to you to, you know, it's up to you to decide. But you're paying for time, extra time needed to pay down that balance. It's just like any other transaction. So when you have that interest, set up an interest category in YNAM and budget for it. If you don't know exactly what it will be, just budget on the higher end of what you think it will be. You say, oh, it'll be 200 bucks. Ouch, but it'll be 200 bucks. Okay. Or man, it could be 300. Budget up toward that high end. We want to be ready for it. And you just treat the interest like any other expense, like you bought groceries, like you bought some gadget, you just bought time still needed to pay off your debt. So when you do that, the credit card charges you that interest and you see it pop up on your statement, you just record that as a transaction right in your credit card account. Then the same thing happens. What we say is, oh, 
Jesse had $50 or $200 set aside over here for credit card interest. And now we actually had the transaction happen. So you have the credit card interest expense goes down, debt went up, right? And then at the same time, you have a move from that asset category, that cash category, where we're saying, we're gonna take that 200 bucks that was in the interest category, we're just gonna move it over into the, this is what we use to pay our credit card category. This ensures that you don't go further into debt and hopefully, if you're really just getting aggressive and getting after it, you're going to be paying less and less interest, needing less and less time every single month to pay off that debt. I hope that made sense. Um, if not, ask me any questions in the comments and maybe I can clarify it in a later video. But this is the idea. We don't want you going further in debt, so we're going to check you as you use your credit cards. And you just need to make sure that you treat interest payments just like any other transaction. You're buying time to pay off your debt. You just need a little bit longer. Thanks for watching. I will see you all next week.